the book of Amos 9 and verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. Now, the eyes of the Lord God is the angels and the angels traveling what the so-called white man calls UFOs, flying discs, flying saucers, uh, unidentified flied, uh, flying objects. We know them as the chariots of Israel. These men are different shades of brown. These men have woolly hair, woolly beards, um, braids, um, short hairstyles. They look just like Negroes or Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. They look just like the Israelites. These are the angels and they're constantly watching, constantly, constantly reporting back to the heavenly father, giving information. Um, they keep an eye on the sinful kingdom. That sinful kingdom, number one, is America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, where it's a den of wickedness. You got faggots, freaks, dykes, pedophiles, trans transgenders, everything against the commandments of God, the Bible, everything that's against God, this place upholds. Really, this world upholds and this world is being ran by Esau, which is the so-called white man, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The Lord is constantly watching you constantly. OK, so Elon Musk and his uh, SpaceX program. So he didn't blast it out into space. People kind of done forgot about it. But the Lord is out there watching you constantly. And right now he's uh, urging his employees to uh, act dramatically and immediately with the uh, the Starship rocket. And that Starship rocket uh, can house 100 people at a time on missions to Mars um, and the moon. So he need these people to hop up on this. Why? Because the Lord is about to make his grand appearance and destroy your satellites, destroy your space system, destroy you. The Lord is about to enter this atmosphere in a big, huge spaceship. OK, black man, woolly hell, woolly big with the innumerable angels, just like you've seen in the movie Independence Day, but only worse because they're going to be black men, woolly hair and woolly beards, tall, strong and angry as hell. So you're trying to escape judgment. Judgment is going to be rendered unto you, Esau. You're not getting up out of this. This is the book of Obadiah 1 and verse 4. It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, which is your national symbol, right? The eagle. You're very proud. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, which is in space. That's what you have done. You got the SpaceX program going on right now with Elon Musk and NASA. You trying to get out of judgment. It says, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. So the moment that you got into space, the Lord has been making his moves to bring you up out of power. The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are constantly waking up. The elect of the Lord are being sealed. And guess what? The Lord, who you know as Yahweh Shai, who we know as Yahweh Shai, that black man with the innumerable angels who are also black, woolly hair, woolly beards, tall, strong, and angry as hell, they come in to deliver the elect and destroy the power of Esau. You will not escape this judgment, boy. Your time's up. Your time is up. Shalom.